The history of the exchange program between Moorhead and Lincoln uh, goes back uh, 15 years, actually 15 years plus. Uh, well, it all began way back in 2001 when uh, Wayne Goodmanson, who is a retired member from Mass Comms, he was uh, travelling around the UK, I think following uh, a visit by some of our colleagues to the United States where they were looking to uh, set up exchange programs. He got it into his head that uh, after meeting some of the professors there, wouldn't it be a wonderful idea to actually start an exchange program between Lincoln and Moorhead? Arrangements were made for me to go across and uh, once we got all of the paperwork sorted out, we've really never looked back. Well, I really wanted to study abroad kind of ever since I kind of knew it was a thing. One of my requirements for coming to MSU and when I transferred here was having a study abroad program, so I've always wanted to study abroad. The ability to go and travel has always appealed to me. And I like to go out, I like to have new experiences, and America is one of these big experiences that I think a lot of people should have. I really like the idea of studying in America, and also the opportunity to study some different classes, like you guys offer a lot of things that I can do back in Lincoln, like there's a big variety to pick from. I felt kind of like I needed to get out and kind of do more, because I was just kind of doing the same old, same old that I'd been doing for a couple of years at that point. And I was researching the MSU website about study about programs, and this one kind of hit the nail on the head. I mean, it was England, first of all, and it was for MassCon students, and I was like, I was like, that's me. I thought about it for a little bit and it just really felt right and I just kind of went for it and I'm really glad I did. It's a big culture shock, um, one that I was, was not expecting. It's the small details that you tend to notice while you're over here. The way like you say things or the way you interact with people is very different. I thought it was a lot bigger than I was expecting, like uh, compared to Lincoln, I think it's pretty big. Really, actually at first I was kind of like, whoa, there's so many buildings, you know, how am I ever going to find my way around here? but it's really, really pretty. You know, it's like what you imagine of like an American campus and you get the four seasons. So you've been in like shorts to like full on snow gear. Yeah, I really like it. It's really comfortable, homely feeling. You've got like fireplaces and couches everywhere. It's really nice. <laughs> Lincoln is a really curious choice um, for a university. A lot of people in the UK don't know very much about Lincoln. Most have never visited. Even despite that, it's at the same time a typical British town and a typical British university and somewhere very different and I think quite special. When we first arrived here it was it was a little strange. It was it was a good kind of strange. I remember looking through the window and seeing the Tower Bridge and the London Eye and just being completely awestruck and I almost started crying just because it was so beautiful. The campus I was really impressed by you know at MSUM it's a very old campus it's it's all historic buildings and um, and, and you can tell that. And here, the University of Lincoln being so new, um, it was it's something that was just, it was, a, it was a nice little facelift, I guess. Because the city was very, very old and very kind of quaint village type, and then the campus was very new and modern, so that, that was kind of a cool foil. The benefits of it being part of an exchange program like the one we have with Lincoln, there are many. I kind of learned how to trust myself more. It helped me with a lot more confidence um, in my ability to uh, complete tasks or go out, socialise. Well, I definitely feel like I know Phil more, a lot better. Like the experience itself has made me kind of like grow as a person, I feel like. I feel like I've got more confidence. It's definitely made me like, okay, I need to work for this a lot harder. Like I've seen like the standard out there now. I've learned a lot of new skills, definitely. I learned a lot about American culture. We are so linked as cultures and we have such a huge knowledge of each other's culture often through the media so to actually be able to visit and and you know really get yourself involved in those cultures and, and have a chance to sort of discuss things and, and see different ways of doing things and you you start to realize that the little differences that suddenly may be quite big quite big differences. I really just learned what it's like to really be outside of your comfort zone. You go to a completely new place, you've never been there before, and you go with only a couple people that you know, but for the most part you're on your own trying to figure out this entirely new culture, and even though it's not completely different from America, there's so much different to learn. Variety is the spice of life, they say, so going to study abroad for a semester can give you that variety that you're not expecting, and I think that you go back to your home university refreshed and with new ideas. 
And I always say that one thing I notice about our students when they come back from the exchange is that they went out as first years, but they always seem a little bit more mature when they come back. And I like that very much. I would 100 million times over and over and over recommend this exchange to, to students. Everything you learn outside of the classroom is just as great as everything you learn inside the classroom and there's just so much to learn and experience that you can't get when you stay in the U.S. Well, the best advice I would give to any students interested in going either direction, either from the U.K. to, to the U.S. or the U.S. to the U.K. is simply go. You can figure out and iron out the problems later. I don't know a person who has gone on this exchange program who has looked back and regretted uh, the cost involved. Go with an open mind, don't come with any prejudice, don't come with any sort of preconceived ideas of, of what either culture uh, is like. In a nutshell, I would ask any student travelling either way to find out a little bit about the place they're going to go to and then go and discover that. And don't stick to the cliches of America. Try and find the deep seeds that are embedded into American culture that just aren't shown so much to us. Just be open-minded, be enthusiastic, be outgoing. Uh, if that's your not, not your natural personality, then it's a great opportunity to develop it. You just can't care about you know what people think of you if you if if you just you're going to have to make that first step and, and, and put yourself out there. But it's so worth it. Take in as much as you can while you're there. Study hard, play hard, and enjoy your time there. Studying abroad is so very worth it. It's a big commitment of time and money. It takes a lot of planning, but once students get there and start living their semester, we just have glowing reports. The exchange has been going on for 15 years and I hope it goes on for at least another 15 years. May it long continue. We look forward to welcoming you all back here.